It's nearly time to repurchase effective caste status on Karshan. I have deducted funds to grant you full elite access. Alright, so this is actually something that I just discovered not too long ago playing another character. Well, either that, or I just forgot about it because, you know, it was a long time ago that I played the game before that or something. But let's just look at it. What does this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. You're not speaking right now. Aria Talok, Omega. Oh, there we go. So, you can just, like, view these GIFs of random shit. Emily Wong. Yeah, that, that, that's really it. Fred Mazai, Citadel. No idea who that is. Donnell Udina, Citadel. Wow, what a jerk. Armando Bailey, Citadel. Wow, what a great vid. David Anderson, Citadel. Praetor Gavorn, Omega. Well, that was a giant grenade explosion. Holy shit! I guess he gets to spec into more ranks with that thing than I do. Kalisa bin Sinan Al Jalani Citadel. Hey, Booker, catch! She's just a fucking joke at this point. Caper 20, Citadel. Uh, that looks like a dead Krogan with a shotgun next to Keeper 20 on the Citadel. Matriarch Atheta, Ilium. With a picture of Liara. Well, there we go. That's Liara's dad. Erdnot Torsk, Tachanka. What the fuck? <laughs> that guy got fucked up. Holy shit. But where who where is this camera? How'd they sneak that down there? Elias Kellum, Omega. Oh wow. Man, I should have hurt that guy. What a jerk. Oh wait! Never mind! I'm an idiot! I didn't Never mind! No spoilers! <laughs> he's actually He's part of Thane's mission. I completely I, I I don't know why I just assumed I already fucking beat him up, because obviously I didn't if I don't have Thane yet. Jacob Taylor, Normandy, SR2. Subject Zero, Purgatory, ship now defunct. Yeah, th okay, this is the bullshit one. Like, where they have magic cameras that couldn't possibly fucking exist where they are. Yeah, it's just flying around her. Oh, isn't that cinematic? Oh! Oh, Biotics don't do that in game, Bioware. What are you doing? This is ridiculous. You don't have a fucking camera on her. Get out of my soup kitchen. Alright. And then we're back at the beginning. Um, I don't know what causes it, but you can just get more. It's not... No, if I come back in the next visit, that doesn't mean there will be more. You have to do stuff, I think. Um, but yeah, that, that's... Uh, that's it. So let's uh, get the hell out of here. A Palavan agent has obtained the equipment used to record the General Partnax and Killux Tannis duo. Okay, thank you, Glyph. Um, I don't know how to get Liara to come. Maybe I have to fucking friggin' leave and come back. I really don't want to do that. But oh well. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thanks, Kelly. Let's see. It could happen to you! A drell lay in the ocean, dying from Keprol syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Enkindlers came to him and charted the course of his life. The drell saw the wakes and eddies, and saw that sometimes the Enkindlers swam alongside him, limbs raking the water. 
while other times he was alone. The Drell saw that the times he was alone were the hardest times in his life. He asked the Enkindlers, why was this one abandoned? The Enkindlers answered, their light shining brightly, you were never abandoned. In those difficult times in your life, it was our bodies that bore you through the water. The Drell awoke and found his Keprel syndrome cured. If you follow the light of the Enkindlers, it can happen to you. Where the Enkindlers go, we shall follow, and where their light is the sun, we shall be the stars around them. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance, and your greatest wish shall come true. Oh, oh, I bet. And if I don't do it, the fucking shadow closet lady will come see me too, huh? Concerns, re-keepers. Ah, Chorbin, there you go. Or, there you are. I was wondering when this would ever show up. I hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything. And this is important. See, those scans you took... It turns out the Keepers are bioengineered, and based on my comparisons to some of that material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests that the Citadel wasn't really made by the Protheans. It may have been made by something far older, with the Keepers as organic guardians, and what's more, based on my genetic readings, they're supposed to react to something, some signal or something, about every 50,000 years you can measure genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing the rings on a tree to see the draught years. Whoever did this, well, around the last time the signal went off would be around the time the Protheans disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime, sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you'd want to know. Nobody here on the Citadel will listen to me. Hey, okay, from Shaman Erdnot. Damn it, I hate these things, but you need to hear this. You're part of Grunt's Krant... And you're his leader, so keep him alive. Here, I have to stay polite, play the role, but our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as people, we need your vat-grown grunt. Okira ha was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan, and that's more than most have on this ball of a rock. So bring him back to your, or bring him back from your damn mission. My people need him, and if you get all get killed, I'll piss on your graves. Shaman Erdnot. Yeah, I don't think he has a Reaper IFF to go through the Omega-4 Relay, though. Let's, um, stop by Liara again and talk to her, I guess. But first, I will mine the- Oh, and here I am trying to press L2 to scan like it's Mass Effect 3. Oh, gosh, I fucking hate their scanning gimmicks. Would you like to head up to the Normandy for that drink? That sounds wonderful. I'll get my things. I like how I poured a dark red drink with that purple ass shit. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although he did ask if you and I would be acting out scenes from some vid called Vanya. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chakwas. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So, how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Honestly, I'm tired. Tired of dealing with Cerberus. Tired of the Council ignoring me. Tired of my closest friends not believing- Yes, I heard about what Ashley said on Horizon. I'm sorry. But their short-sightedness doesn't diminish what you've accomplished. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not f I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for?
I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy. Awkward. Sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base. But thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. He didn't even get a drink! Come back soon. They're going to see us. Very few Corians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can. There we go. Oh, thanks, away, stupid fucking Volus, for interrupting my dialogue there. So anyway, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I really did fuck up. I uh, there was a mission with Liara's assistant Nixeris, where uh, you know you could hack some things. Uh, there was like some assassin or something, and then what would happen is you'd come back here, and it turned out Nixaris was a spy, and Liara killed her or whatever. So I, uh, I fucked up. I bring my completionist self to shame because now I didn't do everything. Really makes me fucking salty. So uh, this is gonna be end the end. This is going to be the end of the session. After work, we could catch a bit or something. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. Never mind. Hold on okay. a second. No, I oh, forgot. There's a we'll there's another quest out. here. Stop. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assume they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So, what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. Well, you just said you don't have the money for that. So slavery is legal on Ilium. Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. So what if I did actually have over 200,000 credits? Would I still have the option? I think that'd be kind of neato. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. So then he says, 
Can I help you with something? How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Korean AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait. Is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. Well, um... I mean, it's not slavery, it's indentured servitude, you idiot! Alright, but... It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this Corian would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarry and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarry in, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarry in had better be good, though. Nope, it's all a ruse. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. And there we go. So, next time, uh, we'll do Miranda's quest. Lantea, right there. That's the person we need to talk to for uh, Miranda's sister. So until then, I'll see you later.